No. Right, right. You know, uh, first of all, thank you. My goodness, you said so amazing things. I'm like, whoa, who is she talking to? But thank you. Uh, you know, yes, I'm well known in the space as this property guru, property developer, TV personality, and you know, like a CEO and founder of Riches and Beyond. But what a lot of people do not know about me is I was born and raised from a beautiful township of Harankua in Pretoria. Mm -hmm. And my mom was a stay home mom. My dad was the only breadwinner at home who afforded us a good life, went to good schools, never had to worry about money until one day my father came home. And after working for 17 years of his life for BMW, he got fired. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember he, he came into the house, he called the whole family to say, let's go into the living room. I've got something to, to discuss, to, to announce. And as we sat in the living room, he, you know, he said those words, I've been fired. And I remember the terror on my mother's face. You know, I remember thinking to myself, it was just weeks ago, I was talking to my dad, I was 16 at the time, that you know, after my trip, I was gonna go to this university. We had everything planned. And now thinking to myself, how is that even gonna be a possibility now? But the reality is nothing about that day. You know, I remember it felt like walls came crashing down on us on that day, but nothing about that day prepared my family for the next three years of unemployment, mm -hmm. for, for days we would go to bed on empty stomachs. You know, I come from a family that had money in a bank account, not knowing where money was going to come from. And the most painful part uh, for me was my dad was not a lazy man. He went out there. He looked for a job. He was just never lucky. Mm -hmm. And one day he came home after, you know, being tired of trying and nothing coming through. And he was sitting on his favorite chair. And as we were sitting in the living room, he just started crying. I had never seen my father cry. Mm -hmm. And as he was crying, he said some, some you know, some shattering words. Uh, he said that. I apologize. I apologize to you, my wife. I apologize to you, my children, for I have failed you. You know, the one thing I'm supposed to do as a man, I have failed at doing that. And that broke my heart, looking at my hero, my role model, my dad, you know. Uh, and from that day onwards, he got into the deepest depression. Mm -hmm. I got to experience this out of my dad I had never seen before. And his coping mechanism became a bottle of castle and a bottle of lime and he became alcoholic. Mm. And I don't know if you've been through a time in your life where you felt like life was ripped under your feet and mm. you couldn't do anything about your situation. Yeah. And that's how it felt. So uh, I remember that time at 16, I promised myself, Sylvia, when you grow up. You Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Click the like button. Thank you.